So far, we've worked with the standard editor over here, but we have several other editors that we can work with. I'm still in viewcontroller.m, and I can now use the assistant editor. And see what's happened is I have opened automatically, by clicking on the assistant editor, a second pane here. So I have viewcontroller.m over here, and over here I have the counterpart, which is viewcontroller.h. If I use the jump bar over here to switch to viewcontroller.h, notice that I've switched to viewcontroller.m over here. So I always have the counterpart, h file for the .m file or the .m file for the .h file. I have those if I have counterparts selected over here. I have many other choices. I can use manual selection and then I can come in here just as I've done before and navigate through and put any two files next to one another if I want to compare code. Depends on what you're doing, but that can be very useful. Then I have some other interesting features over here. I can look at the superclasses of view controller. So it's a subclass of view controller, which is a subclass of UI responder, which is a subclass of NS object. That's a way of going up the hierarchy to see what's going on. If there are subclasses, I can look at them. I can also look at siblings, which would be classes in the same relative place in the framework or within my project. So these are all framework classes. Then I can look at categories if there are any. And I can look at protocols. I can look at user interfaces for the project. I have the two storyboards over here. I have various includes and a second level of include, which is included by something. Callers, callees, test classes, preprocess, disassembly. The ones that I frequently use are counterparts, then the manual selection, and user interfaces. And that's the easiest way to navigate through and to see what's going on. So I can look at two files side by side. Now I'm going to close the navigator because I'm going to show you that that's only the beginning. I have two files shown in the assistant. I can add a third file. Now that's sort of getting a bit messy. And all of these, by the way, I can move back and forth to rearrange. What I want to do is to come here to view for the assistant editor and say I want a different pattern for them. And right now I've got stacked horizontally across here, but maybe I want assistant editors on the bottom. So now I have viewcontroller.h up here, viewcontroller.m down here. Well, what I might want to do is put viewcontroller.h over here. So I've got viewcontroller.m over here. I have those two related files. And then I can come up here and pick another file, perhaps the app delegate. So I can look at these three files all together and come up with whatever structure that I want. I can close any of these panes, open another one, putting together the counterparts with a specific file, and then a third file for comparison, perhaps a storyboard file. This is a way that I frequently work with the assistant. But you can do anything you want. Just be aware that it's there, and you may have to hide the utility area or the navigation area, but this is how you can compare several files, even on a single monitor.